Well, good evening, everybody. Pastor Scott here again, and today I'm going to be reading December 15th of The Best Gift Ever Given by Ronnie Martin. What is the gift going to be today? Ah, this is a, this is a special one. December 15th, God gave us prayer. Oh God, hear my prayer. Give ear to the words of my mouth. Psalm 54, 2. King David was not only a mighty warrior and king, but also wrote many prayers and many songs of worship to God that we pray and sing in church today. What does it mean to pray? It means to have a conversation with God. We can tell God how great and wonderful He is, confess our sins to Him like David did, and thank Him for being such a good God who shows us grace and mercy. We can also ask God for things we need. Sometimes we need God to give us things like food, help, clothing, or a place to live. We also need God to fill our hearts with love, joy, peace, patience, and self-control. God wants us to ask for those things too. God loves to hear us pray, and He listens carefully to everything we say to Him. When we pray, God does some wonderful things in our hearts. He reminds us how much we need Him and how much He loves us. He helps us think about our choices, and He always forgives us when we ask Him to help, or, ask, or when we ask Him to. Prayer helps us remember that God is watching over us, that He has given us many good things, and that He is with us even when bad things happen. No wonder David prayed so much. The more we talk with someone, the more we get to know them. The same is true with God. The more we talk to Him, the more we get to know Him and remember how well He knows us. Prayer is a wonderful gift from God, but His best gift is even better. What could it be? What are some things you can pray for? And what are some things you can thank God for? You know, so many times it's always important for us to pray to God, but it's also equally important to thank Him for the stuff that He does give us and the prayers that He does answer. Why don't we go into prayer? Dear God, these are some things I love about You. These are some things that I'm sorry for. These are some things I'm thankful for. And these are some things I need. Amen. Guys, thank you so much for joining me on this beautiful day today. Tune in tomorrow as one of my special friends will be reading from December 16th reading. And I can't see, wait to see what gift God has given us on that day. Hope you guys have a wonderful evening and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Thank you.